Hello, and welcome to our data management with Autodesk Vault webcast. My name is Daniel Brown, and I'm a manufacturing technical specialist at Autodesk, and I'm happy that you could join us today. Autodesk Vault is part of the Autodesk solution for digital prototyping. It helps you keep track of all of your digital design data, not just your CAD files, but all of your design data. It securely stores and manages this data in a central location, and that helps the design teams quickly create, share, and reuse digital prototyping information. You'll notice that with Autodesk Vault, you'll spend less time chasing your files down and more time creating innovative designs. Those of you in the design world know how much time is wasted searching for models drawings, spec sheets, Excel documents, Word documents, etc., etc. I know that when I worked in the industry, I wasted a ton of time looking for drawings. Then I'd often find out the drawing I was working on was moved or overwritten by someone else. It's very frustrating and hampers productivity. I'm sure you'll agree. One of the best features about Vault is its comprehensive search functionality. It can very quickly search for specific items or even perform wildcard searches across all of your data and return usable results. Do you want to know what file Dave worked on last Tuesday the 5th? No problem. Just enter that search criteria in and Vault will, re will return all of the related files from the Vault. Think of how much time this can save you. What if you're unsure if you still have the correct design file before opening it? No problem. Just interactively preview the file using the built-in Autodesk Design Review viewing technology. Autodesk Vault utilizes the viewing capabilities of Design Review to quickly enable a quick way to view data with or without using a CAD license. This can be 2D data, it can be 3D data. It doesn't matter. It's all viewable. Finally, sometimes you need a little more than just a picture and a description of a design file. Sometimes you can only identify the correct file by understanding where and how it's used. Autodesk Vault's Where Used analysis is very quick and can instantaneously help you identify if you have the correct file and understand the impact of the change that you're about to make before you commit to it. Is this change I'm making to a file going to impact just one assembly or multiple assemblies? You're going to be able to find that out very quickly and easily. Another time-consuming chore is generating parts lists and bills of materials from drawings. It can be a very arduous task. But by utilizing the Autodesk design packages in conjunction with the Vault, this task is automated. Autodesk design software such as AutoCAD Mechanical, AutoCAD Electrical, and Inventor can all automatically push BOM information into the Vault. The BOM in the Vault still remains associative with the original design data and updates automatically when the CAD file changes. Once the data is in the vault, it can automatically be shared with downstream ERP systems. So this allows you to connect workgroup engineering data with your enterprise systems. So now let's open up the vault and take a look at some of the searching, viewing, property, and build material features that are available to us. In this next section, we're going to go over three different capabilities inside of Vault that we want to review. The ability to search and view files inside of the Vault very quickly and easily. The ability to store history information, historical information on parts and assemblies inside of Vault. And then how we can control bill of material information inside of Vault itself. Right off the bat, you'll see that Vault looks very similar to Microsoft Outlook. So those of you who are familiar with using Microsoft Outlook will be at home. You'll see we have a main screen on the right hand side here. On the left hand side we have our shortcuts and the different areas inside of Vault that we can quickly jump to using these shortcuts. Those of you who use Windows Explorer now to store your files on a server can see that we can browse out to different file folders and easily uh, take a look at files that way inside of the Vault. And uh, by clicking on the file at the top, kind of like an email, you get the information and the preview down at the bottom for this particular assembly. 
not only do we get a little thumbnail of it, we get all of the metadata that's available to us for this particular assembly, and then we can actually see the history information for this particular assembly. What revision, who changed it, maybe what notes they made to it over on the right hand side here. We can also see what this particular main assembly uses as far as sub-assemblies and parts, and that's in a nice structured format uh, so it's easy to work with. And then we can of course get um, preview information on that. So next what I'm going to do is show you the search capabilities inside of Vault. And this is kind of what I call a quick Google type search at the top. If I just want to type in a search um, criteria uh, for the top level assembly, let's move up to that first, Vault Explorer, and type in the search term, it's going to search all of vaults for this particular term. And that's going to search file names. It's going to search maybe who modified the file, if this is actually in a description of the file. In this case, I've typed in coil and it's pulled up a uh, coil assembly that was created inside of Inventor. We can quickly get preview information of that. This is a, a 3D version of that. And, and I'm not an inventor. I'm still right inside of Vault, and I get this information directly inside of Vault. <clears throat> and we can mark up and we can query this, uh, this assembly. So if I want to see any type of dimensional type of data, I can query that also um, and see any type of markups for that. Even if it's not a CAD file, you'll see in this case here I have a, uh, a Word file that I'm still storing metadata for. I still have history of this as I check in and check out that file. And I can easily open that file directly from the vault. And it will launch Word and show me this file right inside of uh, Microsoft Word. We have plugins available for both Word and Excel. So you can interact with the vault directly from Word even without opening up Vault to start with. So a lot of capabilities there. Next one I'm going to do is since I'm running Vault Manufacturing, I have the, the ability to work with Bill of Material information inside of the Vault. And you'll see that as I um, move over to what's called the Item Master, this is where we store Bill of Material information for our different part files. First tab here, we have this lifting arm or right head lifting assembly. I can quickly view that just to make sure I'm working with the part that uh, I'm meaning to work in, uh, that I'm intending to work with. And then we can store all the bill of material information for this particular part file. And there's a variety of, of information we can store for each of these, uh, these, each of these parts. We even have the ability to have different versions of our bill of material. So if we make a revision, the bill of material becomes updated. We can easily compare those two bill of materials uh, with each other. We can filter out the type of information we're looking in for our bill of materials. So if I want to just look in specific electrical information, I can do that. <clears throat> it's going to pull up on any electrical parts inside of my bill of material. And just like inside of the... Uh, Vault Explorer, we can easily do a, a search for specific um, criteria. So I want to pull up a panel. You can see I pulled up a lot of different um, items, 20 different items for panel. So maybe I want to customize that a little more. I can even add in wildcard information. I want to pull up a panel schematic. It is going to pull up that particular um, schematic for me. And again, I can quickly view that information even though it's just 2D electrical data doesn't matter, that's available to me right inside of the vault. So that gives us an overview of how we can search and view files inside of vault, how we can store the history information of different part changes and bill of material changes, and then how we can store our bill of material information directly inside of the vault from our CAD files.